Well, a lot of people say there's very little pioneering that can still go on in fly fishing. Everything's been caught, everything's been seen, and the new pioneering is being able to use your powers for good. It's not going out and catching the fish for you. The connection with the science behind what we do and why out here is really the next frontier. There's no place in the world that has life like this place. Every day you're gonna see something crazy. <laughs> Conservation has always been Corticosta. Community has always been Corticosta. We knew the fishery was special and wanted to find out more about it. Most importantly was the science. And so we partnered with the Billfish Foundation, partnered with IGFA to get the tags, but we didn't want to just bring the scientists. We wanted to really involve our whole Costa team. So we brought in over 25 people here to Mag Bay to do this. To try to accomplish the task, which was to put all those satellite tags of fish, you need a pretty special place and special people. And, and to do it on a fly rod, like, come on. Go, 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 go. That's the general vibe of this place, is this electric, intense fishery. So to have a company like Costa Del Mar to kick something off that, you know, is legitimately groundbreaking and kind of amazing. I mean, it's the first bill fish fly rod study ever done. The project, I mean, we're tagging these marlin with satellite tags, and it's not just for research for research sake, it's research for conservation's sake. With this information that they'll gather in the next eight to 12 months, they'll be able to tell where these fish go, the depth they go down to, and from there, they can create regulations that'll make sure that these fish have a healthy future. That's a really, really special thing to be a part of. So again, George and Rudy, um, they're the two most unlikely people to be able to pull something like this off, but they're the two perfect people to pull this off. The idea started a while back um, about satellite tagging of, of Marlin and then being able to do that on fly, uh, the game we preferred to play. Yes! <laughs> That's next level. I mean, it's a pretty historic thing we did this week with uh, sat tagging 15 Marlin. So exciting to, to be able to get a whole bunch of Costa Pros uh, out here and to really get some really amazing science done. Striped marlin are, are pretty amazing, uh, but like all billfish, we don't know a lot about them. We have a very base knowledge of billfish in general, all species. Today we're gonna to be satellite tagging striped marlin. We have these satellite tags. They um, get attached to the fish for 240 days. After that time, they'll pop off, they'll transmit the data to the satellite, and then what we'll get is a map of everywhere that fish has gone. We'll know all of its diving behavior, the temperatures of the water that it resided in. You know, the goal of that is basically to understand what's driving billfish behavior, especially here with, um, you know, this population of striped marlin. He's up, he's on. Good things off. Ow! Yeah. Ah! All of our guests have been just having their minds blown on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, static bait balls, fast moving bait balls, you name it, creatures everywhere, all electric. Basically, just get your fly in there, get it into the madness. When you see Marlin just slashing stuff and throwing sardines up in the air, get your fly in the water and get that thing moving. And when he eats, Spin them as hard as you can until you can't anymore. Keep stripping, clear your line, and then hang on. You have to hold on to that rod for dear life. Woo! I am kicked. We're just getting drugged by this fish. Woo! <laughs> For Costa, bringing together these scientists and the pros and partners and being able to connect with this local community, the local guides who have been connected with this ecosystem for so long is really important because it can show all anglers that we have the opportunity to do that wherever we fish. 
this is my first time here, um, and you can tell that Jordan and Rudy have put a ton of work into not only developing the fishery, but their, their impact in the community. One of the cool things about IndyFly's growth over the last couple of years is we're able to do these quicker investment projects that we call social impact projects. What we really try to do is partner with lodges that have community impact already, and then we just expand upon that. A lot of operators, uh, you know, may take a different approach, but George and Rudy have really chose to uh, bring the community in, which goes a long way, not only for business, but for the sustainability of the resource, which is obviously something we focus on. We didn't come down here with any intentions of starting a business or guiding fishing. We just came down here to fish and have fun and experience this place, and it clicked for the folks here in town. They were like, you guys actually know people who want to come down here and fish and experience this place with a fly rod. And we were like, absolutely we do. You know, it wasn't until we had the encouragement and the blessing of the local folks here in San Carlos that we actually started to get our shit together. The organic nature of us being down here without the intention of starting a business allowed for a development of a relationship with the folks here that was not based around business or not based around any kind of monetary value at all. The foundation of the offshore ecosystems lies in the health of this bay. That is the most important thing to protect and obviously the interest of the people here in the town. Looking back, I can happily now say it's been a huge success. We successfully deployed all 15 satellite tags. We deployed additional spaghetti tags on striped marlin on the fly for the first time ever. We got almost, if not everybody, at least a shot at a marlin on the fly to experience that. And now when we go back and talk about this and see these tags pop up after four months, eight months, and a year, everyone's be leaning in and talking about it and care about it, right? And that connection is why we brought everyone here.